Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And um, it's going to be a regular, regular message. We're going to see what's going on. I'm going to break it down for you. And hopefully it's not true. Too, too, too traumatic. But anyway, let's get straight into this video because I know how you guys and girls do not like waiting on me. So let's do it. Gotta come see a price since you opened up my third eye for the collective. We want to know everything that's being done behind their back. Expose it to me so I can expose it to them. Also ask that any energies or entities that may be trying to harm me or throw me off, take them by the ear and snatch them back to hell where they belong. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, let's see. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I'm seeing Disney World, so some of you all are about to travel. Be careful. Be very careful, especially when it comes to your daughter or your son um be aware of kid snatchers um i'm just seeing something really disturbing in my head so be very very careful when it comes to traveling to disneyland tell me more what else does the collector need to know mm -hmm. i advise you either um be very, very attentive or get like one of those little backpack things that you put on a child and it kind of has like a little leash on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me more, what else is collecting me tonight? Somebody's a liar. This person is about to make their way back to you. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. No, they do not need to be nowhere near you or even be with you. Don't give this person a second chance. Because that's what this person wants. This also may be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person wants you to open up their heart. Your, your heart. This person wants you to have a family with them. Move in with them. Mm, give them another chance. Basically, stop being so distant. Mm, love them again. But you're being protected. You're being steered away from this person. You're being told to move on. And even if you have moved on already, stay moved on. Plus, this person is struggling any damn way. This may also be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person is still stuck on you. They probably don't have a car. And um, they're very reckless as well, very impulsive. And no, this person does not have any patience when it comes to you. So they're going to want you when they want you. And you're not on their terms. They've already showed you that they're not a good candidate anyway. Plus, they feel like you're too much to handle. But they love your sex, though. And for some of you all, they may be bisexual, or you may be bisexual, or gay, whatever one you are, put it where it fit. But anyway, this person is going to reach out to you in hopes of taking you on a date. Or just in hopes of you talking to them or dating them again. Mm. What's this person's hidden truth? What's this person's hidden truth? That they love you unconditionally? But they wouldn't let you get close to them. So this is somebody who was emotionally unavailable. Somebody who was dealing with their own trauma and drama and other things in their life. But, you know, that doesn't justify them basically wasting your time. If they wasn't ready, they should have not put themselves in the dating pool. What's this person hitting through? What's this person hitting through? What's this person hitting through? I'm here. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. This person misses you. Right now, they're trying to heal. Mm. This person has lost themselves. They're trying to find themselves again. They're realizing who you were and who you were meant to be to them. This person is holding on to your energy and holding on to the memories of you. This person wants you to know that you were the best thing in their life. And they want you back so bad. This person used you as a distraction, distraction from their pain because they were going through a lot that you didn't know about. This person is going to come back around wanting to be more than friends. This person is determined. 
very determined. Let's see about your love life. Current love life for the collective. Current love life. This person who wants you back so bad is not safe to love. Yes, they may want you. Yes, they may want to change for you. Yes, they may want to, you know, be a better person and do you right this time around. But is that guaranteed? Or is that a guaranteed waste of time? Current love for the collective. Current love. Current love for the collective. person's gonna want you to give them another chance they want to be together again this person hopes that you keep an open mind but it's not safe to love this person this person only shows you unrequited love yes they're obsessed with you but they're not meant to be your soulmate this person is very charming so they're gonna try to come in and give you a heart-to-heart -heart conversation don't fall for it leave this person where they at this person's still a player and still a thought Mm -hmm. and plus they care too much about how their friends feel about them so they listen to their friends they have bad influences like this they just ugh, they're not they're not boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife material plus this person is very codependent and still probably deals with their ex this person does not deserve your love and they're damaged they're, they're unhealed damaged this person had a lot of chemistry between you two but that's about it this person wants to come back in for another chance to be your new love, but don't do it. This is not the one. Or even if they're you're even if you're currently dealing with this person, they're not the one. Write down the pros and cons and then you get back to me. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. Split. Stay optimistic. Do not go into this really controlling. Do not go in this new relationship with very bad trust issues. Be willing to trust. Be willing to be, be not just trust. Don't trust blindly. But don't have your guard up to the point where this person feels like it's hard to love you. But don't be nobody's fool where you're not shaking up for your own sanity. I'm just saying, okay? This person is going to have the same religious factors as you. They're going to be very romantic. This is going to be your soulmate. Mm -hmm. This person is going to be the one. It's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of playful energy. But remember to love yourself first. Y'all may end up having a children. May all may end up having children together, or this person may already come in with children. Or you can feel you feel childlike with this person. This person is not going to show you unrequited love. I feel like they're going to show you a lot of love. This person is going to have a little bit of healing to do, but not too much. But the chemistry between you two are going to be it's going to be so nice, where it makes you feel safe. This is going to be your soulmate. And it's going to start off by a little flirtation here and there. And then, boom, next thing you know, baby, you're in a relationship. Mm hmm Yep. Let's get you some advice. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. Find your true calling in life. That's your goal. Because when you find it, it's going to bring you in so much gold. Money. Money. It's going to get you away from these people who don't have shit. It's going to get you away from people who don't, who, who are stuck. Who are like crabs in a bucket trying to keep you down. Who keep you depressed. It's time for you to boss up. It's time for you to do the, do the shit that you know that you're supposed to be doing. Instead of laying up onto somebody who's telling you lies. Who truly don't want nothing good for you. Who's playing you right in your face. Who's lying to you every damn day. Who basically... Hmm, 
ain't worth this person is not worth shit they're not worth a damn thing this person's also energy vampire they don't they're not going nowhere in life this person is very 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 like shysty so like they they will backstab you betray you this person only cares about themselves so they're very selfish this person comes off as a good person but they're not this person's a gaslighter so they're good with their words this person I will I feel like this person's a breadcrumber so they'll give you they'll do little things just so that they can have an upper hand this person's a downright user mm -hmm. The pros and cons of this person i'm seeing too many pro i'm seeing too many cons there's barely any pros and you need to know that you're powerful and you don't need nothing like this this person is literally draining you dry that's why they're with you because they see you as powerful what does the collective need to know what does the collective need to know You got a secret admirer. Mm -hmm. This person who wants you back or you may be dealing with this person is very greedy. This person is going to try to live off of you or is currently living off of you. This person is going to try to come back around to make up. But you've already seen this person for who they are. This person is a poser. This person is fake. This person is not a good match for you. Mm-mm. Plus, this person, the only thing that's in this person's mind is having sex with you. It's always sex with you. And they always bringing up your name in conversations. So whenever you get that little ear itch, know somebody got your name in their mouth. Mm -hmm. This person is trying to tap into your energy. And I feel like they, you got somebody, not this person. This is a complete different energy I'm picking up off of. I'm picking up on this secret admirer. This is somebody who wants you sexually. I don't think this person wants you romantically. This is somebody who wants to see what the talk is about. Because people been having your name in their mouth. And especially about what you do in the bedroom. I feel like this person thinks little of you. This person is going to want to just have sex with you. As if. Anyway, back on to this person. This person wants you to unblock them, but they're about to be going to court real soon and they're going to lose. Mm -hmm. God wants to let you know that he loves you. And I'm talking to a Capricorn. Or you may have denied access to a Capricorn. This person is desperate. Mm -hmm. They may also be a killer. And they're a karmic. So separate yourself from this person. Plus, this person's a narcissist. Let God handle your enemies while you sit and prepare for your future. Because this person's living a double life. And that's the truth. Not only that, they're cold-hearted. But they're about to be put to shame real soon. Real soon. Mm-hmm. And plus, this person has a girlfriend and they watch you. It may be a Scorpio or the girlfriend may be a Scorpio. But this person is going to come around trying to sweet talk you. Don't do it. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't believe nothing this person says. Nothing. The cons outweigh the pros with this person. And when it comes to this new person, I mean, you can do what you want to do. You can screw them if you want, but don't take this person serious. That's not what they came into your life for. This person came into your life to play with you. A dark-spirited person is about to come into your life who is, who is unhealed and unchanged. To throw you off of God's plan. To take you away from your path. My intuition and your intuition is sinking right now. You know. This ain't this ain't it. So that you know now that you know better, you can do better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
person who isn't who they say they are. And when they come tell you sorry and shit, it's a lie. They don't, they don't, they're not, any, everything that come out of this person's mouth is, is not genuine. Let's get you some angel messages to end this out. God wants you to reflect on the people that you've dated as well as yourself. Use the information and the lesson that you've learned once you've done your reflection and use it for the future. That way you don't you don't fall for the same okie doke because a, a person is about to come into your life that's about to uh, that's about to basically do do basically pull a okie doke. And you need to be able to be like, uh uh, I've seen this shit before. Get. But with that being said, don't become bitter. Continue to be compassionate. Continue to be just eccentrically you. That's going to bring in you more options. I'm being told, split it one more time and let it go. Change is coming and you're going through a trans, a trans, a transition in your life. You're basically doing everything that you need to do to grow. Mm -hmm. But while you're growing... Remember to stay compassionate. Remember to stay soft. Remember to stay loving, male or female. But always reflect on things so that you learn the lesson that needs to be learned. Okay, my love? And when it comes to those ideas, baby, do it. Because you're going to birth something that's going to make you a lot of money. So continue to stand in your power and keep these snakes out your garden. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't heard us today, baby, you're a force to be reckoned with. Now, force these people to reckon with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you all for the love and support, the donations, as well as the bookings. I love y'all so much. But I love you even more if you subscribe to my OnlyFans for, you know, the freaky tarot content. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.